college level, the Alabama Crimson Tide is celebrating its sixth college football championship in the past 11 seasons. The NCAA championship game was played down in Miami last night, but in just one year, the final game will be right here in the Circle City. CS Sports Russ McQuaid is live from Lucas Oil Stadium to show us what the planning committee is doing now to prepare for such a huge event. Good afternoon to you, Russ. And good afternoon, Nick. You know, it won't just be a college football championship on the line here at Lucas Oil Stadium in just about a year, but also a $150 million impact to the economy to Indianapolis. This is what the thank you video from the folks in Miami looked like to the college football playoff, and that was released this morning. And when you take a look at it, you've got to think to yourself, how will downtown Indianapolis be able to compete with that image next January? The 2012 Super Bowl showed America how Indianapolis can stage a football championship in the dead of winter and still welcome 100,000 fans downtown so this event promises to bring even more fanfare before kickoff. Our activities will include a championship campus in the heart of downtown Indy. We will hold free concerts, a fan fest, a media day free to the public, and many, many more events. The host committee will need about 2,000 uh, volunteers to help us pull all this off. About a million dollars is going to be spent to upgrade the media centers at four different local schools. And there will be about 1,000 media members in town a year from now with cameras and notebooks to write stories about how well Indianapolis has bounced back from 2020 and can stage the 2022 college football playoff. At Lucas Oil Stadium, Russ McQuaid, CBS4 News.